messengers came to King Jehoshaphat to warn him that a large enemy army was marching towards Judea from the other side of the Dead Sea. The Ammonites, Moabites and Edomites had joined forces and were already at En Gedi south of Jerusalem. Alarmed, Jehoshaphat decided to ask God what to do, so he proclaimed a fast for all Judah. People from every town in the land came together to pray to God for help. King Jehoshaphat stood up in the temple courtyard and prayed. Lord, you are so powerful, so mighty. Who can stand against you? We believe that in a time of calamity such as war, disease, or famine, we can cry out to you to save us. We believe you will hear us and rescue us. Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon a Levite called Jehazel. Listen everyone, this is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow march down against them and you will find them at the end of the gorge in the wilderness of Jeruel. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your positions, stand firm and see how God will deliver you. People listened. Then King Jehoshaphat bowed down with his face to the ground. Then everyone joined him in praising the Lord God very loudly. Early in the morning they left for the desert of Tico. As they set out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Believe in the Lord your God and you will have success. Believe his prophets and everything will be all right. After consultation with the leaders, Jehoshaphat determined that there should be a choir leading the army. They led the way singing, God's loving kindness is forever, as they walked along praising and thanking the Lord. As they started singing, the Lord caused the enemy army to fight among themselves. The Ammonites and Moabites attacked the Edomites and killed them. Then the Ammonites and Moabites turned on each other. The battle was fierce and they destroyed each other. So, when the army of Judah arrived on the scene, all they found were dead bodies lying on the ground, not a single one of the enemy had escaped. Just as God had promised this was the Lord's battle and they would not need to fight. There was so much plunder it took them three days to gather it and cart it away. On the fourth day they gathered in the Valley of Blessing, as it is called today, to give thanks and praise to God. They returned to Jerusalem full of joy, with Jehoshaphat leading them. They marched into Jerusalem accompanied by a band of harps, lyres, and trumpets. They then proceeded to the temple to give thanks to God. Jehoshaphat had trusted God for victory and it brought him peace. Towards the end of his reign however, he went into partnership with Ahaziah, king of Israel, who was a very wicked man. They built ships at Ezion Jeber to sail to Tarshish. The ships set sail to open up routes for new trade. God sent the prophet Eliezer with a message for King Jehoshaphat. As you have allied yourself with King Ahaziah, the Lord has destroyed your work. The ships met with disaster and never arrived at Tarshish. 